Hello everyone, this is Lizzie and I'm here with Raquel as always and we are here to give you some Bridgerton impressions. Uh, this is our Simon video. After this one, we only have one more, which is Penelope. Uh, what we're going to do is what we've done with all the other videos. I'm going to give you the impressions of someone who has read the book. Uh, Raquel is going to give you the impressions of someone who hasn't read the book. All of this based on what we watched in season one of Bridgerton. So without further ado, Raquel, Simon. Simon, he's my baby, one of my babies. But she has, she has too many babies. Uh, has babies because it's Simon, you know? <laughs> and I really love him. I, he doesn't want that, that he you know, family or marriage or love until he makes Daphne with her. It's all oh, it's different, you know, because he feels he can talk with her uh, with, for talk with her about everything and that's make the difference because the other woman of society only has this interest for him because he's a duke he has a position in the high society of london and he has so much money, so uh, everyone wants to marry him. <laughs> but that way, it's different because she doesn't matter what he is in society of his position. Um, the only thing important is him, and that's make so much different for Simon. But at the same time, so. For, for this, he starts to love her. He starts to feel some strong feelings for her. But at the same time, he thinks he doesn't deserve love. He doesn't deserve happiness. So this must cause a lot of problems. <laughs> we can talk about that. Uh, yes, he thinks that, um, he thinks that for our specifically reasons that I need to confess that I feel so emotional for him, so hard for him, and I only want to hang here very tight and yeah, you will feel, I think you will feel uh, at, at the same of me, because you will see, you, it's, it's a thing that mm, it must, will be most, most you, okay? move you and you will feel a lot of feelings about this and we we will talk about this in the when we can talk yes when we can talk after a premiere but you will see you will feel very bad for him and you will love him even more for that um yeah i think that's the resume about what i feel about some oh well the actor is Oh, you 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 was asking for the actor who who he is like Simon. Well, he is absolutely perfect. Uh, he's on point. He he has this truth of uh, of the scene. Well, the dialogue is uh, perfect. You know, he's on point. But the actor is give Lamar more powerful in the scene, you know? You love this actor for, for the Simon role. And you will not see anyone more in Simon role. And well, that's, that's it. I think that's it. Well, my person of Simon. <laughs> oh, Simon. Simon, um, I, I think there's, um, if you read the books and you're listening to me to see how, someone who has read the book sort of sees it. Simon is, can be a little dumb sometimes. Um, our chaotic idiots, Simon and Anthony, and basically everyone uh, at this uh, point. Uh, uh, yes. I want to call them in some point, but I love them after all. Yes. Um, <laughs> Simon is, um, when I read the books, I liked Simon more than uh, I liked Daphne. Um, the weird thing is that the the show really made me like Daphne, but it never made me love Simon less. 
Um, I still like Simon more than Dabney. I still like Simon. Simon, this is, I think, um, Simon's season sort of, uh, there's other people who get the spotlight, but Simon and the performance for Simon um, makes this, um, the, he's sort of the breakout uh, in this season for me. And he's also, and I'm gonna say it, even though it sounds vain, because it's one of those things we don't mention enough uh, when it comes to black men, but we do mention a lot when it comes to white men. He's super hot, super hot. And the, the show <laughs> treats him like the hot man that he is and showcases him in the way that you would a hot man, which is really, really refreshing because he's super hot. Um, with a lot of clothes on and with maybe even less clothes on, he's still super hot. Um, and it's very much appreciated how the lens of, through which the series views him, it's sort of like a female lens of appreciation, uh, because I appreciated him. And I think when you watch, you will also appreciate him. Um, not just uh, physically, uh, because Simon is, um, Simon is Simon. You, you're gonna, you're gonna love the things you love about Simon in the books. And I think the performance is gonna make it even better. Um, that, that's the thing. I, I think it, it's gonna give it a little something um, that's gonna make you wanna, yes, there are moments where you're gonna wanna strangle Simon, but mostly you are wanna, you're gonna wanna hug him and you're gonna want good things for him and you're gonna wanna watch a specific scene in episode eight over and over and over again. Um, and I, I think if you like Simon, you're gonna like him more. Um, I, I know I said this about other, some of the other Bridgertons, but I, I just wanna make clear, in my opinion, Simon is the breakout character of the season. Um, Daphne get a, gets a lot of good moments, but he's sort of like where the emotional balance of the season flows. Um, they're all like, they all make bad decisions. Otherwise we wouldn't have a show. Uh, but you're gonna wanna, you're gonna relate to them and you're gonna love them nonetheless. 